Pisces, my Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces, my Pisces, Pisces. Hello, my dear Pisces. What's up, water babies? What's popping? Welcome to the Mocha Love Tarot channel. If this is your first time to my channel, Hey, boo, hey. I would like to thank all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the family, baby. Y'all showed up and showed out for July and August, okay? So I love y'all very much. When I can actually create the time because I'm working on balance in my life, I am going to make a bonus video for Pisces. I'm going to have to keep y'all updated on all the tea, so we're going to pour it, honey, okay? I will say this will be from the 15th to the 31st of August, okay? Um, I don't know if it's 31 days or 30 days in August. I ain't looking at no damn calendar, so I believe it's 31, and I'm rolling with that. Um, <laughs> y'all, um... Thank you so much for all the love, the comments, uh, the likes, the shares, the subscribes, everything. Y'all, thank you so much, y'all. I really appreciate it. I'm not going to cry, okay, because I've done enough of that. But I'm humbly appreciative. I'm grateful, baby. Thank you so much for all of the personal readings. Thank you so much for growing with me. Thank you so much for being on this journey with me because we are all family. We're on a journey together, okay? So, Y'all, thank you so much for just taking my advice and walking in walking into authenticity, loving your true self, okay, and giving the world unapologetically your true self. Thank you. Y'all will allow my light to radiate, and I'm loving the fact that I'm seeing all of y'all lights radiating. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Pisces. I'm not going to cry. So y'all this. Okay, this is general. This will be from the 15th to the 31st of August. Um, if you need a, a personal reading, I do have reading specials that I did extend, okay, until the 20th um, of this month. Um, and that, I have a video about that. Everything is still standing. Just disregard the 11th part because I'm kind of busy. And I, I right now, I'm, I'm going to make time to record another uh, reading special video. But if that one is still the same. Just extend the time to the 20th instead of the 11th. Okay, so long intros, we don't do it, all right? This rolling for my sun, moon, rising, and Venus, as well as the cross watchers for Pisces, my water babies. Y'all, I had to meditate on y'all energy for a little bit. I was going to move on to another sign, but I couldn't do that. I'm loyal, gang, gang. I, I, I told y'all reciprocity. Y'all showed out, so of course y'all had to be first, all right? So um, I got a sense of anxiety. Who's scared? You better make that damn decision and choose you. A lot of y'all are in twin flame um, unions during this time. And y'all are, somebody is, of course, you know, there's always a runner and a chaser. But somebody is just straight forward and really cutting with the words. And they're not allowing you to nurture them. And it gives you a sense of anxiety because I felt it very strongly. But I will not be conquered by no energies when I know that my archangels are protecting me. So. We're going to keep it moving as well as yourself. So get out of the illusion of fear. Okay, it doesn't exist. Shout out to them downloads um, last night. I don't know what this Leo new moon just brought in, but it brought in some beautiful things. I'm a Pisces moon. So shout out to the download, though. Y'all come in about this last download y'all got. It should have been within the last three or four days. But if you ain't got it, August the 26th. When that full moon is in Pisces, you're going to get it, honey. Okay, because the veil shall be lifted. So truth, truth. Well, truth will be revealed during this time, babes, all right? So we're going to start off with this Crystal Angels um, Oracle Card message from Green Virtue. I believe you guys pulled Malachite before, but here you go. This is what the angels wanted to speak to you, honey. Prosperity, Malachite. There's a positive shift in your flow of divine support. So my Pisces who experienced power moments some time back, maybe especially since the month of... um. March for some of y'all, January for some of y'all, April and May. Um, those tower moments, okay, they weren't happening to you. They were happening for you going forward. Some of y'all are going to experience some more tower moments. Uh, that is actually allowing, it's, it's assisting you in balancing out the masculine and the feminine within self, okay? Some of y'all are going to be moving away from people, places, things during the 15th to the 31st of August. Some of y'all will be finding out that you pregnant with a baby. And I ain't going to lie to you. Congratulations. I'm a little kids. All right. Um, I do see where some of y'all, y'all are getting y'all sexy on during this time. 
if you haven't started, it will begin. Y'all going to look at yourself and just fall back in love with yourself. As soon as you do, this is for my Pisces who were kind of having that fear of being alone because ultimately, baby, that's the fear that needs to die. Okay, so that you can reborn. Fall in love with yourself again if you're having an issue with letting someone go. That is the essence. Fall in love with yourself. As soon as you do that, bam, here comes all these damn options. And some of y'all ain't going to know what to do with it, okay? This is not a time to be remorseful. This is not a time to live in the energy of regret and woulda, coulda, shoulda. Because that's not the energy that you're going to need to be successful going forward in the future as well as with ascension, okay? So, with this uh, Malachi message, let me read it to you. Prosperity. This card indicates a positive shift in your flow of divine support. This could refer to meeting your needs financially, emotionally, or in some other way. Previous blocks are lifted because you've released old anger or fears and are now focused upon faith and taking guided action. As long as you continue on this path of positive thinking and following your divine guidance, you can expect to see greater number of opportunities arise and experience deeper fulfillment. Okay, so... I do see Pisces. Get out your own damn way. If you want to be happy, move forward towards your happiness unapologetically. Okay? Your authentic self. Either they like it or they don't, baby. But who who the hell is these people or places or things to tell you that you can't be true to the hell you are? Not where they do that at. Where they let them do that at. No, no, no. No, my dear. Okay? Pisces, during this time, a lot of y'all are trying to make an offer, okay? You will have a, a Virgo Taurus Capricorn trying to make an offer to you, okay? But this offer is to start over, all right? I do feel like for some of you, you've been dreaming and wishing and praying about this, okay? Some of y'all, I feel like, been wishing on the stars in the sky. Some of y'all will see a shooting star during this time, okay, during the 15th through the 31st. And when you see that shooting star, the wish that you're going to be wishing on is that new beginning or that truth and clarity that moves you forward towards that new beginning because there will definitely be some reuniting during the reuniting. It's going to feel so good. Y'all reuniting, okay? So I do see um, some of y'all could be communicating with an Aquarius as well, okay? You've been wanting to make an offer to this person or receive an offer from this person and you're going to receive some truth and clarity uh, with how this person feels. For some of y'all, this person is going to want to go forward and take a leap of faith. Some of y'all are going to be um, releasing truth or well, getting truth and clarity, okay, from an Aries. Some of y'all been wanting to make a solid offer, all right, to an Aries during this time. And for a lot of y'all, this person is finally going to get out of their own fears as well and passionately move forward with you, okay? I do see, for those of you who um, were looking for new jobs, you will be getting your new job. Some of y'all will have a windfall during this time, all right? Some of y'all want to materialize something with the Taurus, okay? Possibly move into a period of um, a deeper level of commitment. For some of y'all who've been booed up, booed up, y'all finna be uh, somebody's fiance or somebody's wifey. For some of y'all, y'all just going straight to the damn courthouse. Some of y'all are walking away from a Scorpio and moving forward, taking a leap of faith possibly with an Aries, uh, Aries or with the Taurus, all right? Some of y'all have new money coming and you felt like this money is going to balance your life, okay? But I do see for some of y'all, this money is going to allow you to start over, all right? It has to do with your mind and your perception. Some of y'all are just moving away from the way that you view things. A lot of y'all are allowing that negativity and things that usually resurrect from your past that you allow to come in and destroy your ass. Now y'all are totally moving away from this type of energy as well as people. A lot of y'all got a lot of snakes around y'all. Watch the snakes. You got a lot of snakes that's trying to hinder you from your new beginning, okay? And during this time, it's time to stay woke, baby. If you ain't never been woke, a lot of y'all third eye is booming, is booming and it's popping. When I spoke about that download, some of y'all, there was a portal recently that was open that's allowing your ancestry, especially you who have medium capabilities uh, during this time. It may be a little hard, you know, for you to, especially if you're a newcomer into channeling your medium abilities, it's kind of hard for you during this time to kind of be receptive during this, not a time of fear, okay? You have that gift. Many are called, few are chosen, all right? So use your gift. Do not allow your gift to drive you crazy, okay? Some of y'all felt left out of a family situation, okay? Some of y'all just really have an Aquarius or a Taurus. Some of y'all have a Taurus, strong emphasis of a Taurus that talks to you crazy, okay? They don't know how the hell to talk to you. For some of you, you want a family with this person, but they always want to live in the woulda, coulda, shoulda's and what happened in the past, okay? Ultimately, this person is going to move forward and reunite, but you need to speak your truth. 
What I ain't having, okay, is you keep doing this. I love you. I truly do. But we're going to walk away from the way that we're doing things or we're not going to be able to materialize anything going forward. Put your damn foot down, Pisces. It's time for you to take action. All right? That's that balance. It's time for you to head over heart for a lot of y'all I'm here. Yeah, some of y'all are going to resurrect the family situation that you thought was dead, okay? You're going to make a judgment call. Is this something that I really want to that I really want to be a part of as far as reuniting, okay? This is something that I want if during this time. I feel like this is for the people who walked away and actually is falling in love with themselves. Now someone who possibly left you feeling left out in the cold or left out in some form or fashion out of a family situation. Now this person wants to come in and reunite. And a lot of y'all, some of y'all, you still have love for this person, okay? And this person definitely betrayed you. But I feel like a lot of y'all do secretly want to reunite with this person because this person is your soulmate. For some of y'all, there is secrets around a Gemini baby. Either you're keeping them Pisces or that person is, but something is coming to the surface, okay? During this time, I'm telling you that August 26th full moon, that full moon in Pisces ain't going to be no joke because first off, it's a karmic day. It's the month of August 8th, infinite, okay? 26, 8, infinite, baby. And then this is 2018. This is a two-year balance. So sometimes a lot, well, what people don't speak about, don't like to speak about, it definitely has to do with past life energy as well and conquering them damn soul contracts. How many people want to come back to he come back here over and over and over and over and show not to hell me? So I want to be a spirit guide next time I come up in this thing. But a lot of y'all, there's a lot of indecision, okay? There's been a lot of indecision about which way to go, Pisces, okay? This could be you or the other person. We finna, re we finna get it. Very clear by the star card. Yeah, some of y'all are in love with an Aquarius, and you've been kind of holding back. Whoa, tell you that sense of anxiety. You've been holding back that decision, and possibly you've been trying to make small gestures towards making an offer, and this person is just really not accepting at all. Okay, this person needs to work on acceptance. And to be honest with you, Pisces, it's not your job to consume yourself in trying to. Show somebody something that they don't want to see. You can't make anyone see anything. Yeah, some of y'all are going to get truth and clarity, okay, about a situation possibly with an air sign in the past where someone kind of did some deceptive shit from you and it's going to allow you to make that move forward. It's going to allow you to finally be like, all right, fuck this shit, I'm out. Some of y'all are definitely moving forward passionately with the Leo, okay? Or this could be an Aries or Sag as well, but you're definitely passionate about a fire sign. And you're going to take a leap of faith and move forward with this person, offer a solid beginning. Some of y'all are moving into stability. Come on, 444. Some of y'all definitely may have a, um, some of y'all definitely want to materialize something with a tourist. You're going to get what you want during the 15th and 31st of um, August. Y'all are walking away from three party situations or being or being accepting to the idea of being put in a three party situation. Y'all loving y'all self. The hell you see how fine I am? I don't got to deal with that shit. Some of y'all are walking away from a Scorpio who put you in a three party situation as well. Some of y'all are dropping your damn burdens, okay? And it's going to balance you. Some of y'all, these ain't even your damn burdens. These are the burdens of other people, especially if you have an Aries Leo Sagittarius in your life. You're going to drop them damn burdens, getting people their own shit. Move away, baby, and communicate real soon. That person going to live in the past and possibly play the emotional manipulation game on your ass because I feel like this person is definitely a hindrance to your family situation. But Pisces ain't having that mid-August to the end. Y'all going to speak y'all truth and everybody ain't going to like what y'all got to say. Yeah, some of y'all don't want to see a situation for what it is having to do with an air sign. I feel like there's definitely a communication this a communication issue. This person communicates little to none, okay? For some of y'all, you're kind of feeling a little remorseful or you have a soulmate. This one, this person is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio like yourself. Feeling a little remorseful, okay? Because now they come to the realization, he's my soulmate. You could have children with this person, all right? This person is definitely going to be communicating with you very soon, okay? Because some of y'all are going to have to choose between a twin flame a karmic and a soulmate. Well, karmic is a soulmate, but a karmic soulmate from a past life, like you need to hurdle over, a twin flame, and a soulmate, possibly someone who you already have a family dynamic with, okay? 
because this person is coming in to make this offer of love to you between this month. For some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius. For some of y'all, it's a Cancer. For a lot of y'all, they want to stick around. They want to heal the situation. They want to fix their families. And some of y'all are going to be in mental conflict because you don't know what to do. One second. Some of y'all, this could be even outside of your energy. If you're dealing with a partner, maybe their soulmate who's a fire sign, okay, they want to come in and start something new with this person, okay? They're offering this person marriage, and some of y'all think about to move forward by yourself and just focus on your money. And it's a good look, Pisces. Totally moving away from your past altogether. For some of y'all, you're going to be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, for some of y'all, for some of y'all, and I'm speaking to my men, you have a someone who's a mother figure. Okay, you're walking away from the way that you look at things about a mother figure. Someone, some of y'all are revisiting the past with your mother. Okay, and you're trying to actually build a bond right now. Um, I feel like you were having mother issues. During this retrograde time, that's going to be coming to the surface, and y'all going to be able to heal the situation. Okay, definitely, a lot of y'all are passionate about a fire sign. Every deal says you want to materialize something with this person. This person is going to have to cut off a soulmate. They're going to be cutting off a soulmate. Okay, I feel like this person has been in a period of indecision for some time, and they've been in the period of indecision because they were internally working things out on which way that they want to go. Because I do see two paths here. Either path is going to leave somebody feeling left out in the cold or betrayed totally in the ultimate way, whether this is you or your partner or the outside energy of y'all, especially if you have a partner who has a Aries Leo Sagittarius um, X or a Gemini Libra Aquarius X as well. I hope y'all keeping up with me, okay, because it is tea up in here, honey. Um, if you have a fire sign who this person can be, very passionate. Y'all have a strong passion connection, but this person is also defensive. This person wants to materialize the same beginning that you have, and it's blessed by the universe. But this person has to, this person has one more fight in them that they have to conquer before y'all can move forward. They have to make a big chop to someone who's possibly a twin flame to them or a soulmate. And in order for y'all to be successful, this person is going to have to completely leave this person in the cold, and they possibly have kids with this person. Or this could be someone you have children with, Pisces, and you have to leave out someone. And for some of y'all, it's past life energy to overcome this hurdle in not a fearful way. It's going to hurt. But some of y'all have learned so many lessons. I feel like all of y'all are learning lessons. To so those of you who are pregnant, okay, this per and this person disappeared, this person is going to come back and they want to work it out. But things are going to have to change. You're going to have to speak your truths, okay? I love y'all very, very, very much. This is what I have for y'all from the 15th to the 31st of August. But my babies, you're going to have to make a decision and be strong about it. Walk in acceptance. Acceptance, all right? Acceptance bring new blessings, all right? I love y'all. Yeah.